SeaTac Airport. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. <laughs> Greetings everyone, Dennis here and I am at SeaTac Airport, just picked up my luggage and in this video I am going to show you how to take the Link Light Rail from SeaTac Airport in the city of SeaTac, Washington to Seattle, Washington. Let's roll! <laughs> and in the spirit of uh, how I like to uh, make videos, as far as the format of videos that I like to make, we're going to, uh, we're going to walk there. We're going to do a walking tour from the airport to uh, the Link Light Rail. And hopefully I can give you a sense of what it's like to walk there with luggage in hand to the light rail station wow it's quite a busy um evening it's a little past 5 p.m right now what time is it it is yeah 5 20 p.m on uh, friday june 16th i just got in from phoenix actually spent a few days in Phoenix and now I'm back home in gloomy Seattle Washington however it's uh, it's it's not cold the weather is nice I don't know what the temperature is but it, it feels good so I, I do like that I enjoyed Phoenix a whole lot too by the way uh, it was over 100 degrees <laughs> when I left but it was refreshing to just to be somewhere different um, all right, so this is the parking garage. This is where you catch elevators. And basically, you're just going to follow the sign that says Link Light Rail. Just follow the sign. Wow, lots of security vehicles here. <laughs> you could probably hear, hear the wheel of my uh, luggage here rolling. Probably sounds annoying. Oh, look at that dog. There were a couple of dogs on the flight coming here and they were well-behaved dogs no barking or anything <laughs> made me think about if i were to well we don't have a dog anymore we lost our dog last year but we have been thinking about getting a dog now i'm getting off topic i don't want to get off topic too much in these videos i want to keep videos focused staying on topic let's stay on topic let's not talk about dogs um yeah, follow, follow the sign. And perhaps the police officer right there. <laughs> and uh, we'll soon, we'll soon be at where the, the painted, ooh, the painted walkway will, uh, will be about 50 feet from here maybe. I have to keep switching hands I feel like because it's just not comfortable you see switching hands left to right <laughs> left to right all right so sometimes I will actually take uh, take uh, uber or uh, lift um, to get home but I find that taking the light rail is, is a good option. It's not that expensive and it doesn't take that long. It takes probably about 30 to 40 minutes to get to downtown. 
However, I'm not going. I'm not going all the way to downtown. Uh, but that that shouldn't matter for the purpose of this video. This video is just to show you how exactly to get to the light rail station, and perhaps in real time how long it'll take to get there. What it feels like. Is it safe? Are there tents along the way? Will you step? <laughs> Will you step on needles if you get mugged? Oh yeah, I'm being jokey. Uh, yeah, a little gloomy outside. Um, also, sometimes my wife will pick me up, but she's busy today, so uh, it's fine. I'll take the light rail. Um, I'm paying taxes for it anyway. I'm paying a lot of taxes. It's not cheap. <laughs> so. Oh, there's a lot of people coming, see? People do take the light rail. So it should be like a less than a 10 minute walk. Of course, I'm walking rather slow and I'm BSing along the way, so it's taking a little longer. But it's, you know, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a fi it's fine. The walk there is fine. I enjoy walking. So I try to walk as much as I can. Before this video, I actually did a walking tour video. Speaking of walking, if you enjoy walking tour videos, I did a short walk uh, in downtown Phoenix. You can check out that video. It's the one before this. We talked a little bit about food. Three different places I visited. I, I mean, I visited more than three places, but I just talked about three places in that video. And I uh, also reviewed a coffee shop, Press Coffee, in downtown Phoenix, Arizona. Oh, there's a train coming there, left-hand side, coming from Seattle. Now, I know there's a lot of videos like this one, uh, and I almost, I almost didn't make this video. You know, I, I actually filmed this a few times going home from the airport uh, in the past. But then I was like, this is corny. <laughs> Why am I going to... Apparently you can also take the shuttle to somewhere. To the airport. You know, I was like... Um, this is corny. Why am I going to... Why am I going to make this video? There's already a lot of videos out there. Uh, and a lot of people have been... Um, well, a few people, at least a few people have requested this video. And so if you're watching this, here you are. Here's the video. So I'm here where you can buy tickets. If you have an ORCA card, you of course will not need to buy tickets here. Where are you going? I'm going to Columbia City. Okay. I used to live there. Nice. You used to live there? You like it? Yes. It's changed a lot, huh? A lot. <laughs> not the same. Not the same. I'm 80s baby, so I'm Oh, like, me too. I grew yeah. up I grew up there in the 80s oh, and 90s. Cool. Okay, I was class of 2001. Oh, you're yeah. you baby. Oh, okay. Yeah. Columbia City. I wonder how much it is now. Uh, okay, just one is two dollars and five cents. All right, let's go ahead and oh, hit it. Credit. Follow here and then say yes for the receipts. If you lose your ticket, get your receipt. Awesome. All right, I got my uh, ticket here. Talk to the transit security uh, personnel for a little bit. Really friendly. Ooh, um, really friendly. I'm gonna put this in my pocket so I don't lose it. And now we can choose between one of two ways of getting up there. Uh, you can go that way or this way. It's shorter this way. Let's go this way. You gotta go up to the top floor to <laughs> to catch the train. She's running. Wonder why. Is she, oh, she's trying to catch the train that's coming, I think. All right, so we will just take the escalator. You could also take the elevator to get up there. There's an elevator there. And again, we are in the city of SeaTac. SeaTac is situated sort of between Seattle and Tacoma, hence SeaTac. By the way, um, by the way, they they do not really check tickets on the light rail 
I almost want to say that it's an honor system, but it really is not either. I mean, if you if they check you and you don't have a ticket, it's a hefty fine. It's over 100 bucks. I remember it was 127 a few years ago. I don't know how much it is now. I've never gotten one. I've always purchased a ticket, you know, just doing things the right way, the clean way. <laughs> uh, so, so that's that. And here we are, I'm gonna wait for the light rail to go to downtown uh, in that direction there. If you wanna go south, it goes another stop um, if you, if you wanna keep going south. But we're gonna go north to Seattle and uh, let's wait to catch the train. All right, we are on the light rail heading north. Kind of a gloomy day here. And uh, that's looking to the city of Tukwila, which is right north of SeaTac. And there you can see the Link Light Rail Station for Tukwila. Look at the freeway, rush hour is bad. That's heading east going towards uh, Renton and Bellevue. Yeah, the traffic is bad and it's why people take the light rail. And why you should also take the light rail if it works for you. And there is Interstate 5. In the distance there is South Center uh, Wisefield Shopping Mall. The traffic going south around this time is always bad. Always really, really bad. <laughs> I try not to get on I-5 at this hour. And going from Seattle to Tacoma can take you like, take you something like uh, over an hour, 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 uh, 30 minutes sometimes. Now we are approaching uh, Othello Station. The zip code here is 98118. This is one of the most diverse zip codes in all of uh, America. It actually was the most diverse zip code in the US up until uh, up until recently so uh, way more people on the train now because uh, I think there's a game there's a baseball game uh, tonight all right so I got off <laughs> here at uh, the Columbia City station but look at how well look at how full it is it's pretty full that's because there's a game going on so i want to show you the map this is where i got off and from SeaTac airport there's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven you will get off at the 12th station if you are going to downtown seattle that will take you to the heart of downtown seattle you can also get off at University Street um, or Pioneer Square or even International District if you're trying to go there and from there you can walk to uh, downtown Seattle which is what I do a lot I do a lot of walking uh, anyway that concludes today's exciting very exciting episode of La Ocean and how to get to Seattle from SeaTac Airport hope you enjoyed the video hope it was useful if it was you know what to do Buy me some fur. Just kidding. All right. Take care, everybody. See you next time. Peace.